Hey, data fans, Reed here. So today I'm going to have an update and a discussion on the concept of perspectives for modeling in Power BI. Now this itself isn't a tutorial on them, but a way to access them. So I love them because they essentially give different views of hidden and unhidden tables, columns, hierarchies, measures for your model. It's really good if you have a large enterprise model and as an example, a sales model where you have a perspective for marketing, finance, any other perspective you might be able to think of. Now, normally with Power BI Desktop, this was something that the only way to really get to it via the UI is you had to use composite modeling as I've done in a prior video. Now today, I'm going to show you a technique on actually how to do this with a purely thin report to connect to a specific perspective of the model that's already published to a workspace. Now there's going to be one unfortunate small caveat is that will need to be premium per user or higher because it requires using the actual connection string endpoint and a special connection type in Power Query. But otherwise, it's still a very useful feature for those who have access to those. So I do want to hop into Power BI Desktop to discuss that. So let's get started. Now, very briefly, I just want to mention this is the model that I have with three perspectives, executive, finance, and marketing. And just as a brief recap of what perspectives are, that is a combination of what is hidden or not hidden in terms of visibility for the report view. So it's not a security feature, but I can hide and show certain columns, tables, and measures and configure those as a perspective using either tabular editor two or tabular editor three. Just briefly mentioned that. If you are curious, I would recommend go check out some of my other videos in the Havens Consulting channel that walks through how to build a perspective, but this is specifically gonna show us how to avoid a pain point. So I wanna show you the pain point first of how to get to these historically before I learned about this new technique. So the only way previously that I learned how to connect to these, now this, by the way, this technique works with any workspace that is either pro, premium per user, premium capacity, fabric capacity, but you would go to get data, you would connect to the Power BI semantic model. And in this case, I'll connect to the perspectives here, select connect. And that will then create a live connection to the model, making this a thin report. Now, right now, there's no way for me to go to data source settings. I can't connect to this in any way to get access to those perspectives. The only way to get to it is you would make changes to this model. And when you add a local model, it would add an empty container with the model attached, but I would get an option to come to perspectives in here and connect to those. So that is the only way that I knew previously to access these. And again, this works across all uh, workspace types, but the downside is now I have a empty model that needs to be published with this as part of a composite model scenario. So kind of a downside if you have composite modeling turned off and also just you have a lot of these models published to the service that contain nothing in it, but it's a pass through to allow me to connect to a particular perspective. Now this new technique will allow me to circumvent this entirely. So I'm gonna switch over to the Power BI service, get a connection string and then show you how to create this. All right, so we're in our workspace here. And what we can do is for any workspace, again, that is premium per user, premium capacity, and or fabric capacity. If you go to workspace settings and get access to the connection string for that workspace, give that a second. There we go. So right down here, connection link. I'm going to grab this. And you do want to make sure that in your tenant level, you have XMLA read, write, turn on to be able to use this. But otherwise, now I'm going to go back to Power BI Desktop. And now in this new report, Hasn't had a connection yet, so I'm going to come up to connections. And this time, I'm going to go to analysis services connections and put that connection string in here, connect live. And now we're going to do this. It will load up here for a second. It will ask me for credentials, I believe. Oh, good. It's already saved those credentials. So now here's the best part is if I come and open up my perspectives. I have base model and all of my other perspectives are here already in the list. So I can now connect to any of these in a purely thin report environment without having to do a composite model or anything else already connected in here. And if I need to change that, I can come up to the edit connections settings and essentially delete this, change it to another model perspective if I needed to, but those are already built in to the Azure Analysis Services connection string. So this is a great way to be able to connect to a perspective now without having to have a composite model requirement. So in summary, essentially, if you are using a pro workspace, 
If you want to use a perspective, you'd have to use the composite model option. But otherwise, now, if you have premium per user, premium capacity, fabric capacity, and any uh, or any one of those cuts, then you can utilize this feature by leveraging the connection string and specifically, again, going to the Azure Analysis Services connection and putting the string in there rather than Power BI semantic models. So one thing I do hope is that this video gets a lot of traffic. Hopefully the comments down below might help to uh, also inspire Microsoft to encourage them to expose this as part of the Power BI semantic model connection and make it available for all levels, not just uh, some type of premium per user or higher, but Hopefully this solves at least a few problems for a few of you and also makes it just easier to leverage and utilize perspectives. It's one of my favorite modeling features for large models that has a lot of tables uh, servicing a centralized or golden data set. This really opens it up to making these a bit easier to use and a little bit less friction. Um, so I'd love to hear your comments, suggestions, feedback uh, in the comments down below. As always, uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help the channel grow. And as this is a newer channel uh, with Steve Campbell and myself for Analytic Endeavors, uh, we are really looking to try to expand and uh, get these videos out there. Um, but otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.